Oh, oh, I was looking at the ducks. Oh. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Basically, today we're going to be doing a fishing challenge using ChatGBT. So we're going to ask it what flies to give us, and we're only going to we're going to have to use those flies to catch the fish. So I'll ask it, get the results, and then order them online, and hopefully get them next week, and we can go out and try them out. So open ChatGBT and. Let's say, give me five flies to use for trout fishing. Okay, Adams, woolly bugger, pheasant tail, elk hair caddis, hare's ear. Awesome. So they are, that's a good selection. I don't think we're gonna have to struggle with that too much. Uh, so there you go, that's our five. We'll get them sorted and uh, go out on the river with them. We'll also ask, um, let's say, what retrieve should I use for these flies? If, if it gives me a decent result, we'll have to use this. Or two techniques, should we have these flies? Depends on a few factors. Okay, so it's mostly focusing on river fishing. We're going to be on a still water. What if I'm fishing on still water? Okay, there we go. That's what we'll have to do. So we'll use these retrieves. Okay, well, it says, it does say at the end, um, the key to retrieving flies still water is to experiment with different retrieves. So... I think that kind of opens up our options. I think we will um, be basically, we'll stick with what they say, what, with what ChatGBT says. And uh, if it doesn't work, it is giving us the ability to to, to basically decide um, on our own retrieve, depending on how the, the fish are doing. But excellent, so we're going to be using those five flies. I'll get them ordered and we will head out to the water. See you there. So that's us here. Um, the flies arrived, so we've got woolly bugger, uh, two Adams, uh, three pheasant tails, um, two um, hare's ears, and two elk hair. Um, so that's the flies we're using. Um, I'll see what the water looks like, but I think we'll start with the the woolly bugger. See if we can get something on that. Um, we might start on the bank and then uh, get on the. I just saw a fish rise there, so at least there's something about. Uh, and then get on the boat maybe if we don't have much luck off the bank. Um, I've got a couple of each in case I lose them. Uh, so yeah, let's see what's happened. Let's get tied up. I've got the woolly bugger on uh, with a bit of green and a tin head. Um, I think it looks quite good and feeling quite confident with that fly. Um, I think I might just have a couple of casts in here just in between these weeds first. That GBT said to retrieve fairly slowly, but mix it up if it's not working. I've seen quite a lot of fish just further up, so I'm going to try one more spot from the bank up here. quite a lot of weeds. I think we're just gonna have to go for the boat to be honest. Thank you. 
skull in it right now. one. I saw it take under the water which is quite cool. I don't know if you'll have been able to see that though. So uh, I don't know if the camera picked it up but we had a bit of an audience uh, over on that public path uh, for that one. Um, they seem to enjoy seeing me catch it so that's us got our fish on the first fly so moving on to the next one we've got our Adams and on the dropper mostly to help the line sink we've got our pheasant tail with a bit of flash in the back there nice looking fly there's still a lot rising they're very close to the boat there's some down there so yeah let's give it a go I, I reckon uh, we'll get one no bother I don't know if it's maybe hooked on the side or something. Oh, it's, yeah. It's <laughs> coming in backwards, there you go. <laughs> oh, it's not hooked on the mouth. I don't think I can count this as catching it on this fly, so let's try and get it in. Yeah. Quite a decent sized fish. No wonder it was fighting like that. Oh, right through the adipose. about time we move again I can see an area of rising fish just about here different group of fish than the ones that are rising here and these ones aren't aren't fancy in the, the Adam so I'm gonna move up uh, and see what we can get up there <laughs> Straight away. Oh, that's what can happen when you move a spot. When something another spot's not working. Please don't come off. There's been so much effort to hook this. Oh, 
go. Quite a decent fish. Not bad. So after that bit of instant luck there, I've changed over to the elk caddis. Um, I'm surprised it took that long to get a bite to be honest on that fly. But this new spot seems to be doing good and there's still some writhing so let's see how long it takes to get one at this one. Oh, oh, I was looking at the ducks. <laughs> I don't even know what, what fly this is. Oh. I was I was pulling that one in below the surface before I stopped to look at the duck and it's oh. So it could be there, but I think it might be the the elk. Yeah. Oh, he's off. Just falling out in the net there. He's oh, swimming back in the net. There we go. So unfortunately now that's all the dry flies done. But that's three out of five. Our last two is the pheasant tail and the hare's ear. So I've got the hare's ear on the point and the pheasant tail on the dropper. Let's see if we can't get another one on these. Day. I'm on the small surprise of the day, and he's back. 
so we're on our last fly now, the pheasant tail. And we have a size, I think it's a 16 on the, or 14 on the dropper, and then a size up on the point, so we've got a double pheasant tail. <laughs> so no matter which one it takes, that'll get us our fish on our last fly. Two hours later. Stay on. Not over till it's in the net. Ah, finally. There we go. Finally got him. the challenge is complete that's a fish on every fly uh, and about time too i'm really cold now um yeah thanks to chat gbt we got plenty of fish <laughs> it seems like it knows what it's talking about um yeah excellent thanks for watching and uh, catch you later